Hey there and welcome back to this channel. If you've been house hunting in Canada recently, you might have noticed something worrying. I'm talking about the soaring house prices that are making the dream of owning a home feel more like a fantasy, especially in our big cities. But why is this happening? Let's unpack the reasons together. Grab your favorite snack and let's get into it. So first things first, why are house prices skyrocketing? Well, it boils down to a few key reasons. Population growth. More people means more demand for housing. Cities like Toronto, Vancouver, and now Calgary are filling this big time. As more people move in, the fight for a place to call home gets tougher and yes, pricier. Mortgage rates. Thanks to recent events like the global pandemic, money got cheaper. Sounds great, right? Except it also meant more people can afford to buy, pushing those prices up further. And it has never come down since then. Next is the real estate as an investment. These days, a house isn't just a home, it's an investment opportunity. This attracts a lot of buyers, including investors, tightening the squeeze on the market. Building costs and regulations. Now, some people don't really look at this aspect, but constructing new homes isn't cheap, and those costs end up being on the buyer's tab. Plus, the red tape around building can slow down how quickly new homes can be added to the market. All right. We've got a shortage of affordable homes, but what does that really mean? Well, in simple terms, there aren't enough homes for everyone who wants one, making the ones that are available ridiculously expensive. This is especially tough for first time buyers or those without a hefty investment portfolio. And if you thought buying a home was the hard part, think again, living in that home is getting more expensive too. Thanks to rising property taxes, utility bills, and the cost of keeping the house in good shape. So where does that leave us? Well, it's clear we've got a problem, but problems are meant to be solved, right? We need innovative solutions, policy changes, and maybe a bit of community spirit to turn things around. Personally, I think owning a home in Canada shouldn't be an impossible dream. Drop your thoughts, ideas, or even your own house searching stories down in the comments. If you found this video helpful, Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'm Peter and I'll see you in my next video.